So up until recently in Ontario, the beginning of December, bass season would close and bass season would open again second or third Saturday in June. So we had a short-lived bass season here in Ontario up until this year. This year, the ministry changed the rules and they're allowing a catch and release season on Lake Ontario or Zone 20, also known as Zone 20. So this catch and release season does have a bit of a hiccup to it in that you can't take a picture of your fish because by the books, catch and release means catch and release with zero time for anything else other than getting the fish back in the water. But there's a catch. If I get the fish on video and then take a still frame from the video, that's completely legal because I didn't stop and pose to take a picture with the fish. So that's okay. I just got back from uh, an evening on Collins Bay. I only had a few hours to fish here, but this is zone 20, which is part of the new bass fishing season. So I was able to throw around some, throw around a bass bait and uh, check out what happened. Yeah, I grabbed the wrong tackle box. <laughs> well, I was, but I guess I left that tackle box at home. Oh no. Because it's panfish now. <laughs> All right, good luck, buddy. Thanks, man. Have a good one. that were hanging around here. And they took off, luckily. Big jerks. Cool. Oh my goodness, are you a fat? You are a fat smolly. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're huge. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, absolute giant. No way. I have to get rid of you though. Catch and release. Catch and release. Oh. <laughs> you are a pig. Okay, let's let you go. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna catch anything. All right, I'm gonna go and hit that spot again. Uh, GPS. So that was on the Savage Gear uh, 3D Gobi. Oh, my, my heart's pumping. That was a barn door. <laughs> that thing was huge um, with the jig head. Okay, back to fishing. Oh, I gotta extend this. That was horrible. That was a horrible net job.
there's the school. Look at that. That I'm pretty sure that's what I picked that small right there. Then. So that's easily my best small mouth, uh, personal best right there. That's pretty amazing. I, like that has to be over six pounds. That thing was like so fat and just so wide. Like, whew. and it did a couple jumps for me too. And wow, that's a pretty good fish for uh, first fish in the kayak. Um, definitely need to nail down my net skills a little bit better though. That's for sure. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me show you what I was using. So my buddy Chris, buddy, buddy. When I was fishing for pike and we caught that crazy walleye, he actually suggested these goby baits for smallmouth St. Lawrence. And uh, worked for Lake Ontario smallmouth too. Look at that thing. It's actually a tube tube bait. So I meant to bring tube jig heads to throw in here, but I uh, honestly forgot my uh, bass box with all of my bass tackle. So. I found this heavy jig head to at least get it down to the bottom. I was just bouncing this off bottom. Um, I, right after a little bounce, I felt something just like stop the bait. I thought I might be stuck on bottom, but I set the hook anyways. And uh, yeah, had that tank of a smallie on this. These are salt, salt, salt infused, so uh, he, he held on to it. I'm fishing with like 30 pound braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader uh, on a medium heavy ugly stick GX2. Just thought you might want to know all the details. Well, hope you enjoyed that episode. That was uh, quite a surprise for me and uh, I'm still smiling from that catch. If you liked it, hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, we'll catch you later.